<laughs> I'm proud to be a woman. I didn't have to lose my femininity um, to do what God has called me to do. And I pray that maybe he can use my life in some way to be a prototype to say to other women that if God has called you in whatever field it is and whatever purpose it is, do what he has anointed and furnished you and equipped you to do because all things are possible. Trust me, they told me I wasn't ministry material. <laughs> but here we are 28 years later, so it's a privilege. And you're doing a great job. Thank you. My relationship goes back 23 years with Bishop Jakes. When I say I sat in a nosebleed section, of course, back then, we didn't have stadiums or anything. And so here I saw this big, statuous man from West Virginia preaching the gospel. And as many of you know from my personal testimony, I didn't grow up in church and never heard the gospel. So when I was five years old, my father committed suicide, sexually and physically abused from 6 to 13. When I'm 18 years old, I have this defining moment, this epiphany. And I, I get saved. I'm in college, and I just have this God encounter. And I prayed a simple little prayer and said, may I spend the rest of my life serving you and helping other people. And I did nothing with my life, and this is where Bishop comes in for two years, but stay in the Word of God. Well, someone had told me a year or two later, a few years later, about um, this great preacher that was preaching that I needed to go see and, and, and be a part of. And when I heard him open his mouth, um, the Bible declares that the Father, Adam, named the animals. And so a, a patriarch's anointing has the ability to give you your identity. It was when I sat under his ministry that I truly began the pathway of understanding who I was in God. It was the beginning of restoration. And so it was really his ministry that showed me my uniqueness not to be a copycat, not to be a woman, not to be something, but to be authentically who God had created me to be. And so it's been under that mentorship, that leadership, and as you heard me say, they asked me to say a few minutes. How do I say a few minutes of a 23-year relationship of a man of such magnitude that has had such great impact and probably has been the greatest stabilizing force in my life outside of God?